of the fashion. Hey guys, Olivia here with another episode of Distractify Live, your daily dose of useful distraction. We've had some live issues yesterday, today, so I hope it works. Let me know if it doesn't. Okay, whatever. So there's this new show, or new, it's, it hasn't aired yet, right? Not yet. It airs Sunday. Sunday. Called The First Family of Hip Hop. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so we've got Samaya Reese, Lady Luck. Um, on, they're on the show, but there's a bunch of you guys. They're all family. Family. Okay. So, so airs on Sunday. First family of hip hop. We're gonna talk about it. Tell you guys to watch it. It's gonna be great. So, what the premise right. of the show is the Robinson family. Mm -hmm. it, some people might not know about y'all's history. So, how about we get like a spiel about what's going on? Take it. All right. Yeah, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Um, I am blood rel relative to Sylvia Robinson. She is my aunt. She's my mom's first aunt. So that's how I'm related to them. Um, so we're real family. Um, they are a staple in hip hop music. They are actually the founding fathers of the record game, I guess you would say, because they're not the first people that created rap music, but they were the first ones to press up the 12 inch vinyl, the first ones to go to radio. Shout out my mom. My mom promoted it. Yeah. And it was like a 14 minute song, so it's not hard. For original it's not, music. Yeah, it's not that easy to promote to radio. Like, here's a 15 minute record. <laughs> hey, you guys, listen to this for 15 minutes straight over and over. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> That's when I find a song I like, I listen to it every 25 seconds. So yeah. I listen to the same song and it would take up the entire day. That's really cool. All right. That's another story. That's cool. That's cool. Awesome. Love that. So awesome. then that's the fam. Yeah. And now this, how, so how many are on the show exactly? It's like a small gypsy family. It's a little yeah. Gypsy. It's like <laughs> one big Latino family because you know Latinos multiply. Latino family of the ten. Is, how many? Ten? Nine? It's a lot. Of, it's a, it's a Lil and Senior. He has six children, so I guess that would make seven right there. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's Rondo, who's uh, his brother's son, so that's eight. And then there's me, so I guess that'd be nine. Nine. And then Samaya makes ten. And Senior makes eleven. And Holly makes twelve. So it's almost Renata like the bachelor. It's like different. Little Sasha, well, so we can go Sasha, Sasha and the children. So it's like Sasha. Like, we it's give, a lot. We give true oh, definition it's a, it's a to really big family. family. Yes. Yeah. I, I feel like that makes for the best TV show. Big family, so, big drama. Yeah, like major. So we'll, major. we'll get into like drama because obviously every show has to have some. Who doesn't so, want the team? So now that y'all are trying to figure out who is going to be the head of Sugar Hill. Is that kind of what's happening? Yeah, everyone is fighting for the spotlight in the family. Uh, well, the children. At yeah, least, children. That's yes. younger than me. Um, it's like everybody wants to do their own thing, but at the same time, they run. They want to run Sugar Hill, which is really weird. So Leah, she sings. I executive produced and wrote her album. Me and my partner Lanisha. Shout out Lanisha Nelson. Yay. And um and Darnell, he's working with Bellis mm -hmm. on his project. So both of them, they wanted to put it out independently, but Leland suggested, right. hey, we have this label, we have distribution, with Universal. You guys should want to take over. What's going on? So everybody right. was like, you know, it's like turning the game. Game of Thrones. So you have yeah, them too. I love that. That's really good. You have Antonio. You know, you, it's a bunch of us just trying to to take over the, the empire. Who is, in your opinion, who should take over? Can you say that? Or uh, who, who of course we can. Who should? <laughs> it's like, it's like who, to be honest with the kids, they're just saying it because they're saying it. To, to be honest, I think Antonio should. He's the one that's always in the office. He's the one with all of the paperwork. He's the one that doesn't want to be famous. He's the one he that just wants to work. Yeah. Like, let's get to the paperwork. Let's okay. make this deal happen. I don't want the camera. That's fine. It's there. Okay. Yeah, I he's very it. serious about Antonio, it. Antonio, I believe in you. And you have a lot of experience. Like, you're definitely very seasoned. So mm -hmm. you you and him could probably do oh, something. Oh, I totally could take over this label and take it into the future and have it capital. Running a music Pluto. label is like, you yeah. should be seasoned. Well, and I feel yeah. like there are so many music labels now yeah. where it, it's like, Satch oversaturated. How do you kind of? I think. Well, they've already made their mark, and yeah. they're already like totally established. Right. They are a dynasty. They are legendary. So it's just a matter of now transitioning the old school to the new generation mm -hmm. because all of the kids are new generation type of music. I I, mm -hmm. I still listen to the hip hop. Ah. Hip <laughs> I get it, girl. Get it, girl. I get I get shy. I get shy. You shy? I get, yeah. Girl. I start, I start and it gets really. So, it's I'm okay, not, we won't judge you. I'm not gonna do it, but I regardless, <laughs> I like the old stuff. But yeah. I, I get it. Got to get into the new, mm -hmm. the new. Yeah, the new. there's a different wave of music, you know. So it's like I think that that's 
it's there's like this and it's a generation kind of a generational gap and yeah. thing so yeah. it's like you know you got the people that are like the classic the old school music but not old school but i mean like where it was a lot of original music right. uh, lyrical music right things that meant feeling and that's the type of music right. she produces for her cousin Leah. Right. things that are going to go for the long haul, the catalog like music, not, not the not like enough of that quick after. dances and it's over. The, the top twenty hits and then you, it fades. Away. Like it's over. No, that's what she does. So she produces that type of music. So you know, amazing. <laughs> okay, so Sylvia, mm -hmm. what was she like? Uh, when people ask me, I say that she was just rich. Now I'm not just saying as in money, I mean rich as in like when you get some rich thick chocolate, like everything to her, <laughs> it was layers. When she opened the door, she just that smelled was. rich. It, it, that didn't smell like money, it just smelled like heaven on earth. People I mean, say that about me and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> tell me more. So she was rich. Right, every, but everything was just beautiful. Everything was Fabulous. like, a, she was a trendsetter, you know what I mean? So. And mind you, I'm a kid growing up seeing my aunt. I didn't realize exactly who she was until mm -hmm. she passed away, you know. But just growing up seeing this woman, you know, the big Rolls Royce, you know. And then um, they have a picture woman. of her with the like, Rolls Royce. She's like one of the only ones in the country with that. Um, I got to do more history on that. Someone was telling me that while I was working on my glaucoma. Mm -hmm. So I might have missed out on all the details. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and she, just, she just had so much going on. And she was an icon at everything that she did, you know. Mm -hmm. And she was a great cook. And she was a woman. Yeah. She, and she's a woman. She, and she's gorgeous, love, independent, I fabulous. Went on, I went on a Twitter talented. thing yesterday about how much she said I love women and like women go women. So we I'm love women to, too. Yeah, That's I mean, why we're together. I, well, <laughs> that, was, that was my next question. So you guys are in love. Yeah. And I love that. Yes. So, so I don't want you. you probably told the story 500,000 times of how you got together, but you've known each other for what? 600,000. <laughs> and one. Can you do it <laughs> and two times? But if you make it more fun and different, if you want to, we can we can make it new since you've told it so many times. Well, we're, I'll tell you this, is that um, <laughs> we are, another thing too, we are the first ladies of hip hop. You are. Because no one in hip hop has come out as a couple. So Love we are the only yeah. ones that... Yeah, I am very, I'm very gay because I'm a little sentimental. Gay, tough, gay, but gay, 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 gay. gay, gay, gay. gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, we met. I'm also a rap artist. Okay. I do Latin music and I do Latin rap and just all the fun. Yeah. Pit bull. Like, I just love Pit Latin music. Latino music. Yeah, Latino. Latino. Love it. Huh. And um, I like to keep up with my MCs. Okay. I like to see who else is out there at the top. I had a vision. I wanted to come to New York and I asked my fans. I was like, hey, who's the hottest? A female rapper in New York and everyone kept tagging her what? so then I went and did a little what? research she calls it stalking I call it research okay stalking. she calls me crazy I call it passionate <laughs> <laughs> I love that. and I basically just said like, reach out to her and I was like I think you are so dope and I asked my friend to introduce us we got introduced and then I was at a strip club and I had a little too many tequila shots and I went in for the dive and I kissed her. Blame it on the And she didn't stop me. No, I didn't because I thought it would be rude. My mom raised me better than that. Okay? Okay. Someone's gonna try to kiss you. You go in for the ugly or offensive. You go, hey, but if they're good looking, you go, I don't blame you. Come in for the kiss. You can like turn the cheek. You can be like, oh no, let's just be friends. So she didn't stop me. She wasn't like, no. And she didn't stop me, and um, we just we became good friends. Yeah. We did collaborations together. Um, at the time, as she would explain it, it wasn't considered gay because we weren't together, we weren't out. Yeah, cool. Now that we're together, it's like you know you have like you know Jay Z and Bay, J yeah. and Bay. You have J Bay and Gay, and Gay. Here we are. <laughs> what? And we, we, <laughs> we lose touch sometimes. You don't do that with one of your friends. You don't talk to them for a few months yes. and you reconnect. Yeah. So she posted a picture on Instagram. And I was like, and it looked like she was doing something in TV, and I've always thought she would be like amazing for TV because she's just such a fun, bright personality. And she's halt. Just, Do you see why I love her? Yeah. <laughs> halt. Halt. <laughs> halt. That's a new thing. You know, I, I stop. Want someone say, to say nice halt. Things about me. Anyone? Yes, I you're know. gorgeous. You're fabulous. You're stunning. Me. He likes to work with Don't me. Don't do that. We compliment we, how beautiful you are. Oh, yes, yes, you sweet I think it's just because I'm single AF, so I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> looking at people in love, and I'm like, oh. That's so gay. Well, that's so gay. I love it. We, um, I just commented on her pictures, and then she, you know, like slid in the DMs. 
was like, hey, I haven't talked to you for a bit. Call me. And I was like, okay. And I called her and then we got Started. together and you wanted to no, show him that? Said, we were on the phone. I told her how I found my inner peace, you know, and I, and I, and I, I meditate, you know, and I'm going to learn Kung Fu so I could beat my brother Dr. Sounds up. And, <laughs> and, and, and she was like, oh, so you're single. I'm single. What's up? That's it. Hold on. <laughs> and first of all, you don't say that. I say that. I wear the hat. So what's up? And I still said, so what's up? And um, <laughs> when you're girls in a relationship, you're together immediately. So as soon as I, I said, what's yes, that? fine, then that's it. We're together. Like that day, <laughs> that so moment. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah, like, say I the lesbian relationships and the gay boy mm-hmm. relationships, it's like... Well, why let's do this. Why can't I find a guy who just says, <laughs> "Well, we're in New York." That's true. It's options tough out are, here. It's tough out here. Uh, that's I, and y'all are the 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 radiation of love. I just we think that's want. Right. Well, we want people to know that like being in love is okay. It's I think that okay. in society we've like been like thrown, you know, thrown down your throat, especially in hip-hop culture. Yeah. Huh. Act like you're single so that you can sell more records. We don't give a shit about that. I'm no. sorry, can I cuss? Yes. We can. don't. Okay, good. We don't Mama, give a shit about that. <laughs> Just had to get that out the way. Okay, yeah. so here's so, a question you know. I asked uh, Tom and Ariana from Bravo yesterday, and it went over kind of cute and made everyone happy. So so what <laughs> is, you've already, kind of, you've already kind of done it, but uh, what is your favorite thing about each other? Hmm. Uh, I love her personality. Okay. And no, I love. No, I love her person. Like, I don't know. Let's. Okay. Say, Tom, okay. Tom said uh, he loved how he felt like Ariana was just as smart as he was. Like, well, he was I, this is what I was going to say after the personality part. There's things that she has, qualities she has, that I admire and wish I had. And I learn from. And her personality just makes it so much easier for me not to feel weird about. Like, I'm, I'm not patient sometimes, yeah. and I just go off the handle, and her personality will explain to me on why, no, babe, you have to learn patience, and she makes it fun and funny, and, and then I don't feel so stupid to, like, be that way, I or, you it. know, like, and she, she calls me out on my shit, and that's what, that's what you're supposed to do in a relationship. My heart. My heart. Yeah, okay. I love it. And okay. she's hot. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> I'm attracted. Um, all right. <laughs> yes. Um, Okay, Make my favorite fun. thing about her is that my <laughs> whole life, I've, I, my whole life, I've been, I've been the strong one in everybody's mm-hmm. household relationship. So like, I held my mom down, I held my sister down. Uh, relationships, I've always been the one who's like in the forefront. I help everybody, I fix everything, and this is the first time in my life that someone treats me like a baby. Somebody wants to protect me. Somebody wants to. I don't have to feel like. Oh, I, of course, I mean her. I always am. That's just who I am. But. Somebody who comes along and says, let me help you and let me do this for you. And it was weird at first because I'm not used to it. I don't know what help is. You know what I mean? So it's like, we yeah, need to work, you know what I mean? It's like, especially like that. this. Like, Y'all yeah, I don't want to, I didn't want to get all gay and cry. Relationship but goals. <laughs> Yeah, I, like I have her back. Happy. I want to see her win. And, and I'm not going to stop until the world sees what I see. Okay. Antithesis of my question. We did the heartwarming. What did you guys fight about? Everything. Everything. We are are the like, we are the, okay, so there's different types of, we were just talking about this earlier with my makeup artist, there's different types of like little lesbian couples, right? There's the one like crazy lesbian couple you're kind of afraid is going to end up on Snapped. Okay. And then you have, you have the overly loving delusional couple and then you have the real couples like me and her. We bicker about everything. everything. She's everything. petty with me about, did you take my lipstick? <laughs> did you take my hat? And I'm like, yes, I did. She's like, get it back. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Sounds like my sister. But, uh, you know, we, we totally feel like, yes, but I feel like I fight with your sister. Like, like that. Feel like we're sisters sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Even gayer, but, but love is, <laughs> but, but love is top. It, it's at the top. We're getting, we're we getting are getting really gay, right? You know, it is very gay. See, very with, gay. With her, she has seven different personalities. I have them all named in my phone. I have them all written out. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't Vodka know. has one. Yeah, that's Kavita has another. Love, that's love, that's love, that's love, you know what I mean? You have Samaya. You have Samaya. And Salvador has another. You know, so, it, 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 it's different personalities, you know. But um, the thing that we fight the most about, well, we can't have vodka in our home. Okay. Unless, unless Everyone I has a vodka story though. So like once in a while, yeah. you have vodka chronicles. We keep telling you that, but uh, <laughs> we just—I mean—we argue about dumb sense. stuff, and it's never really. But hard. we always go back, and we're like, "I love you, I love you too." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, are, y'all are so amazing. So okay, 
first family of hip hop is right. Sun Sunday. Sunday, this January Sunday, 15th. January 15th. Uh, at what? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. After Real Housewives of Atlanta. Good well, time slot. So my sh that is a good time slot. And we're an I'm hour feeling, long. I'm feeling good things about that time yes. slot. Yes. Really, really Please good tune in. Things. So, so you're going to see a lot of uh, drama. You're going to hear a lot of music, I'm assuming. You're going to yeah. also hear um, our not only our relationship develop, but also our business relationship. Oh, yes. Yeah. We are uh, launching a record label joint venture together called La Rosa Entertainment and the Greatest Entertainment. Woo! It's also a film and television production company. Okay. And we've just dropped our first project, which is the first album of the year. It is free for download called The Facelift. You're good, girl. You're you can good. get it off of SoundCloud forward slash I am Lady Luck. Love I'm going to put all the info in the comment section below. Yes. So you can click on it. And it's, it's, a, free. it's free. It's just so that the, the fans can see see kind of where she's at we also are yes. relaunching the gets and detox tea so if you guys see like the celebrities holding these i'm the owner and creator of this and you can get it on shop this fits okay. me uh and really like what we're we, what i believe in is that health is well mm -hmm. and so we're relaunching our health brand our music we're and money. We're, coming we're, out we're, money. we're a full brand they are rich we oh, are rich halt Oh, oh, yeah, hold, hold, hold. Wait, so before we go, I want to shout out my brother, my best friend, Dr. Sounds, and my best friend, Michelle, it's her birthday today. Yay. So happy birthday, Michelle. Go, go, right, girl. go girl. We're going to have girl. a vodka chronicle right after this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. I love well, thank you so much, much for yeah, having us, for you Thank you so much for having us, you know. on. Go check it out. You're, I know everyone watches TV on Sundays. That's yeah. the relaxing day. <laughs> so nine o'clock yeah, is the best time slot on Bravo. It's good because it's like it's not too late. You can still go to bed at a reasonable time because Mm -hmm. You know, we gotta go to bed. Just don't stay up too late, people. Watch the show and then you can go to bed, okay? Yes, well, exactly. I mean, if, if you gotta go to bed early, you can always DDR. like DDR. DDR. You know, DDR. we're on demand. I saw that. And it's a great so, show. Yeah. It's a great show. Listen, we all have like one big dysfunctional, crazy family. We all have that, but at the end of the day, there's love. I'm, and then I love love. And there's music business, and it's hand in hand. It, it's very it's educational. Great. You'll learn yeah. a lot about the music industry as you watch it. And if so, you didn't want to learn, you will. Yeah, when you said 12, 12 vinyl, I don't know, I don't know what that 12 is. 12 vinyl. That's, that's the old records. Old records. Like records? Like records? Yeah, no I'm going I'm I'm to learn. So I'm going to watch. Okay, so Sunday, check it out. Watch it. Do all of the yes. things. Okay? Wow. Well, that's Follow us. Where can people find you guys on social media? Yes. At I am Lady Luck everywhere, MySpace, Instagram, Mahente, Black Planet, Black Planet, <laughs> Planet yes, still Friends there. Sir, Facebook, yeah, everything. <laughs> at I am Lady Luck. And, and you can um, find me um, on on my page. Yeah. Yes. Look for her on my page. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the it's easiest way. Samaya Reese. S O M A Y A R E E C E. And they post pictures of each other all the time. All so the time. If you like, totally <laughs> hear that, you can just click and go. <laughs> That's fine. Social media works. Stop it. <laughs> or as you say, passionate it's called researching. Research. <laughs> passionate <laughs> researching. Passion. You can stalk or passionately research the people that you like. Okay, so have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. We're going to be